So hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you amazing DaVinci Resolve effects in 5 minutes. So to do this is pretty simple. So all you have to do here is go and to do your DaVinci Resolve. So here we're here in your Fusion, this is going to be our first one. It's going to be our own actual anamorphic flares. So to do this is pretty simple. I said so here, you have to go to your Fusion and then you will have to drag a node to your own node. So for example, we have here our first node. So all we have to do is go look for glow, of course. So here we have glow. And then we have to drag it to our node right here. So here in our settings, all you have to do is turn up the HV ratio. So as you can see, we have our HV ratio at max. And then you can also put it on spread, maximize that, so that you'll have this sort of look right here as you can see. And then you can also do the brightness if you want to. So that depends on you. So you can put up the brightness so that you'll be able to see it more better. So you can also change the blue and other types of colors within this type of composite coloring. And then from here, oh, that's all you have to do actually. So you can actually also change the color if you want to. But I'll just leave it at this. So there you go. So next up is going to be our camera shake. So we have to drag our camera shake from effects and we'll make a pretty cute transition from here. So as you can see, we're going to try to make a cool transition using this. So here you want your shake speed. So if you want to do it faster, you can do so. So when you check it out right here, it's going to do this. And then you can do some contrast and brightness. So you can also do motion blur. So you have this cool effect. So let's do a four quality for motion blur. So something like this, as you can see. And then you'll also have your center bias and sample spread. So there you go, guys. These are some cool transitions that you can do in your DaVinci Resolve. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.